Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? And welcome to the Just Chatting Gaming News and Trailers for the week of October 29th. Let's go ahead and get into it. First story is kind of a big one, also an interesting one. So we have Rocksteady Games. And for those who don't know, this is the company that has essentially made all the big Batman Arkham games over the last like 10 plus years. So it was announced that the co-founders and studio heads are both leaving the company. And they went on to uh, release a, a pretty good statement here. Uh, in part of the statement, they go on to say, Our decision to leave Rocksteady was emotional to say the least. From the day we founded the company in 2004 all the way to today. Rocksteady has been our life and soul. It has given us the opportunity to do what we love most, and that is make great games with exceptionally talented people. We also, or we are, are so proud of the team here for the games we have all made together, from our first game to the much-loved Arkham series, and now they're working on the new Suicide Squad game. Yeah, I know this studio was in a little bit of hot water uh, a year or two ago, and so I don't know if that led to uh, this departure, but either way, it's a pretty big blow for the studio when, you're, when your co-founders and uh, studio heads leave. Kind of reminds me of back in Bioware, back when EA bought Bioware and then the Bioware doctors both left. It was like, oh man, that's, uh, that's not good. So same thing here, pretty crazy. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if that Suicide Squad game turns out to be good or bad or, you know, you know whatever. We'll, we'll see. Uh, next news story, actually speaking of Bioware, the Dragon Age team has announced that the next Dragon Age game, Dreadwolf, has entered Alpha 1. And so right now this game is scheduled to come out in the fall of next year, so we'll see... Between this and uh, basically the end of next year on whether or not it's able to keep keep that time frame or does it actually get backed up a whole nother year. But if it's in alpha, then that's usually a pretty good sign that the uh, game is probably playable from start to finish. And they just got to basically just work on all the little details. So pretty cool. There's actually been a couple of Witcher stories in the news. But the one uh, that I'm kind of covering here is the fact that they've announced that they are remaking the original Witcher game, which is pretty cool. And they're actually going to work with a studio called Fool's Theory on, on getting this done. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I never played like the original Witcher games. And they did also mention that this is going to be done in Unreal Engine 5. So very, very cool. And then the final news story of the day. This is kind of gaming related. There's there's so many gaming TV shows being made right now, and one of them is actually Fallout. And so they released the first like picture of the Fallout series, them sort of stepping out of the vault. The other thing is we now know this is Vault 33, and uh, there's actually no info on vault 33 so this is a whole new scenario the the magical question is going to be i don't know how much you guys know about fallout but you got the vault tech company and then when it comes to the actual fallout shelters themselves some of them were normal and some of them were for experimentation so is vault 33 a normal vault or an experimentation vault so I guess we'll see when that show comes out. Should be pretty uh, pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump on over to trailers. As I mentioned in uh, last week's episode, there's a thousand games coming out, so we have more release trailers. So the first trailer we're going to take a look at is the release trailer for Victoria 3. Here we go. Peggy 12. Old Peggy. We thought we knew the world we were born into. We thought we understood the rules. What we know now is that everything can change. The zombie soldiers. Traditions. Nations. 
Part of me wants to play this, but this is also a grand strategy, and these games are super deep. Nothing is safe in the turmoil between progress and destruction. Here in the streets, we dream of tomorrow, as in hell, they dream of heaven. So we look to you in power to harness this force and write the rules for this new world. What will you envision? What will you dream of? That's not where that statue's supposed to be, pretty sure. As tomorrow is racing towards us, what world will you build? Available now. Yeah, those games are generally super good, and like like I said, they're super, super deep. All right, next up, we have the launch trailer for Bayonetta 3. Problem is, is this is on the Switch and it's gonna run at like 20 FPS. In the world I'm from, we've already met, but it's gone now. Along with you and you and everything else. Don't worry, I know this song by heart. Who invited you to our little crew? That doesn't even sound like Jennifer Hale. She's doing a really good accent. Carelessness will get your tail snipped. Got that, Kitty? The name's Viola. Don't forget it. It's bacon time! <sighs> Out of my way! <laughs> These games are all very highly rated, and well, yeah, I've never played any of them. Well, I'll be damned if it ain't the demon slave. That's one ancient art I thought was lost for good. <laughs> yeah, these games are kind of like platinum games at their best. Go, Teresa. You're the only one who can end this. That's right. All right. Next up, we have a trailer for Redfall. Let's take a look. For those who don't remember, this is the team-based uh, vampire game being done by um, Bethesda. I forget which Bethesda studio. I, I want to say off the top of my head, it's Arcane. Well, 
it's red. It's on me. And you're dead. Still no release date. Xbox Game Pass. Play it day one with Game Pass. Oh, well, thank you. I already said that. All right. Next up, uh, this, this is kind of an interesting. So we're going to take a look at the trailer for Wavetail. This was a Stadia exclusive. But as you may or may not know, Stadia is being shut down. And so they're able to now uh, essentially port this to PC and Xbox and PlayStation. So, yeah, this is the uh, announcement trailer for that game. Let's take a look. The ground cracked. The ocean roared. And Strandville was lost in the deep. Grandma says that this is our haven. That the lighthouse keeps us safe. But the part of me wants more. I keep picturing the world that used to be down there. Right under my feet. What are you, Ethan? Pretty nice art style. December 12th. Wave tail. Whoops. Stop. All right. Now we've got a three minute presentation for for Spoken. This is called the the Deep Dive Magic Parkour, presented in 4K. I I just hope this game's good. We've seen a lot of trailers for this game. It's gotten delayed so many times. When she is mysteriously transported from the concrete jungle of New York to the mystical land of Athia, Frey Holland soon discovers that she has new magical powers and abilities. Among them are magic parkour skills that help her deftly traverse Athia's treacherous terrain. As her journey begins, Frey must first learn to master the flow ability, which allows her to move at high speeds. It is the first step to performing more complex traversal maneuvers. Tapping into her newfound skills, Frey must also learn how to sustain her stamina. When deploying magic parkour abilities, her stamina is slowly depleted, limiting how much of her powers she can use. Certain magic parkour abilities can aid with stamina management. The rush ability, for example, not only allows Frey to flow even faster by unleashing a burst of concentrated energy, but also replenishes her stamina. With the shimmy skill, Frey can accelerate rapidly hmm. by kicking off the ground, covering large distances in a single jump without using any stamina. Completing... You know, one of the really cool things about Anthem was just flying around that world. I think just like doing this magic parkour, just running around this open world is going to be really fun. Spellcraft challenges also lets Frey upgrade her magic parkour skills, reducing her stamina consumption or giving her a much faster recovery rate. Mastering these techniques is key to ensuring that Frey always has her powers ready when needed. Defying the force of gravity, Frey can learn how to float. This ability softens any fall, allowing her to safely land from extreme heights. Frey can also travel across Athia's rivers or lakes by skimming across the surface with her glide ability. Frey's parkour skills are useful not just for traversal, but also as defensive maneuvers. A well-timed zip 
unleashes a magical tether, letting Frey grab on to certain objects and pull herself out of harm's way. This power also lets Frey access locations just beyond her reach. Athia is filled with towering structures and land masses, which Frey must learn this to This game conquer. is also being done with in UE5. Sword, she can kick off surfaces and traverse vertical heights with multiple leaps. So I have a feeling succession. like it's going to look way better than what it Phantom does in this video. Phantom can also be created using scale, allowing Frey to ascend to the greatest heights. Scale is also an important part of Frey's defensive arsenal, letting her deftly maneuver around Athia's most dangerous beasts. Upon mastering these parkour abilities, Frey can combine them with her magical combat skills, transforming her into a formidable force capable of taking on the endless threats in this beautiful yet deadly land. Yeah, thing is, is in that video, as they were explaining it, they were running it at, like, one-fourth speed or something like that. Like, I, I, I want to see more of that game, like, running in real time. All right, two trailers left. Next one is the Pokemon Scarlet Violet My World My Way. I think this is, like, a live-action kind of deal. Let's take a look. It's up to me. I can't wait to get started. Whoa. I can roam free? And explore wherever I want. There's Pokemon everywhere. Oh, some new ones I've never seen before. <laughs> and old friends. Over your rivals. Let's do it. Not your friends. Whoa. Now it's a water type? Come on. Let's see what else we can find. All right. Question. Has a Pokemon... In, in, in all of the lore of Pokemon, has a Pokemon ever killed a human? If so, what do they go to Pokemon jail or how's that work? Catch, battle, and train in the newly evolved open world Pokemon adventure. It's my world, my way in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Only on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the humans do treat them like crap. All right, final trailer of the day. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, world, our new world has been going through a lot of changes. And the population of that game is increasing almost daily. And so they actually released a video called what has changed in new world uh they've got fresh servers coming and i think an expansion just dropped so yeah let's uh let's see if, how good this video is as far as an overview for millennia the isle of eternum has been the source of fantastical legends but for those adventurers who answer its siren's call, the island is changing. So, expeditions or dungeons? Great sword was just added. Oh, 
44 new enemy types. Wow. They had the winter thing last year. Turkey terror. That turkey's got a laser beam. I've heard that this music system is really good. They basically took the music system from Star Wars Galaxies. As Eternum improves, so too do the lives of its inhabitants. Oh yeah, they revamped the starting experience. Which I've heard is much better now. Updated POIs with new enemies, improved storytelling. The quick travel system is better. I know that. They redid some of the towns. Global storage and trading post. About time. Inventory while running. Yes. Removed orbs or the, uh, yeah, remove the requirements to getting into stuff. Yeah. The legend of Eternum will continue to grow. New zones, expeditions, weapons, and adventures await those brave enough to enter the new world. Island of Eternum Coals. Yeah, I might be jumping back into that once they launch the new servers. But yeah, I've been hearing nothing but good things about uh, the updated New World. All right, for those who are watching on YouTube, uh, that'll go ahead and do it for the video. So thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.